Hi, in this video today we're going to see what happens when you try to run an Atari 2600 with double A batteries. So will it work? And if it does work, I'm going to simulate what will happen when the batteries start to wear down. Will, for example, the audio go first? Will the video go first? What will happen? Will the game crash, freeze? Will it go to black and white? Let's find out. I've never done this before, so it's going to be happening live on this video. So we need to have... 9 volts at 0.5 amps. That's what the Atari power supply is rated to. It will probably work off a lot less than that. And it is center pin positive. So the connection we need is this little connection here. So I'm going to wire it up to some batteries and let's see if we can get it to work. So looking at this, it looks like the max it's ever going to be using is 4.5 watts, which is uh, very little. So, right, let's uh, connect up. I've got some little battery things here. I've got some Wago connectors and a lead to connect into here. Right, okay, so I've wired it up. We've got a bank of four here, which are in series, and a bank of two, which are in series. The black one comes out of here, connected to the red one here. So that means that this bank is now in series with this bank. And then we've got the black lead coming out here, and the red lead coming out here, feeding the little adapter down here. And we've got red to red, black to black, which will mean that the tip here will actually be positive. So if we go to volts DC, this is all DC voltage, and if we go to the outer one there, and the pin here, you should see that we've got 9.9 .9 volts. Now these are 1.5 volts each, so you would think you'd have nine volts, but when they're new, you have slightly more voltage. So you can see here that we've got 9.9 .9 volts, which should be fine. So let's plug it into the back, turn it on, and see if it's gonna work. Can we run this from batteries? Here goes. Right, so let's turn it on, and let's go up. Yes, there you go, fantastic. Right, let's make sure we've got sound. Yes, we have. Interestingly, the picture I think is slightly better on uh, <laughs> when, when it's running off battery. So maybe there's a little bit of interference on my when I'm running it from the power adapter. I think, the, I think it looks slightly better. Yeah, so there you see. You see it's working. Excellent. Right, and the reason it works fine is because it's, it's using such little wattage that the battery power can handle it no problem. But now, what will be more interesting is what happens when these batteries wear down. I think they would last quite a while, again, because of the small wattage that this is actually uh, drawing. But let's get the bench power supply in, rather than actually play on this for hours and hours and hours and waste batteries, which is going to be bad for the environment. Let's get the bench power supply in, and we'll set it to 9 volts at 0.5 amps. And what we'll do is let's keep lowering down the voltage, and let's see what's going to happen. Okay, so I've got my bench power supply hooked up now. Again, you can see it's working fine. But look, I've got it set to 0.5 amps, but it's only actually drawing 0.33 off an amp. So uh, you're looking at really only about 3 watts there. So that's, uh, that's pretty impressive. That's pretty low. So you can see now it's working fine. Right, so let's start lowering down the voltage. Let's go down to 8 volts and see if it's still going to work. Right, so we've still got sound and picture. Let's go down to 7 volts. Oh, look at that. Right, okay, so we can see it's struggling, yes? So let's go up. Is the game still here, though, or have we lost it? Let's go back up. No, the game's still there. So that was interesting. So let's, uh, let's just rescue that one. Although we lost picture there and sound, the game was still there. So we know that when we get to seven, we're gonna lose it. So let's just start going down really slow. 7.5. Right, so that's still working fine. Uh, the reason that it disappears every time I hit the button is normal. Oh, did you see that? That glitched a little bit there. Uh, that's normal. Right, let's lower it down a little bit more. Yeah, so it seems to lose the sound and the picture at the same time. One doesn't go before the other. It doesn't turn to black and white or anything like that.
Yes, unfortunately, not the most interesting. Let's see now if we were to up the amps. So it's not no, that's not going to make a difference because it's still only drawing that. Right, let's go down and see how low we can go before it will lose the game. Right, so let's say if we were to go to... Oh, look at that. Wow. Colours have changed. It's actually working at 6.8. Wow. Yeah, the colours have changed, haven't they? And is it recognising that I'm shooting anything? Yes, it is. Well, I wasn't expecting that to work. I'll tell you what, let's lose a life and then we know where we are. Six point five, let's go down to six and now up. No, it's just the same as resetting. Yeah, so it's just the same as hitting game reset on the console itself. So I'm just gonna lose a life again. Right, let's go down to 6.7 and now back up. Yeah, so that remembered it. Let's go down to 6.3. Yeah, that remembered it as well. Look, it's still there. One life. Well, let's go down to six. About 5.9 and now back up. I wonder, is it to do with the length if you were to leave it longer? Would it, uh, no, see that reset there. Right, okay. Well, yeah, not the most interesting, but at least we now know that you can use batteries on it so that was interesting enough but I was hoping something more interesting might happen with the glitches and stuff as you were starting to lower down the voltage but in this case here no it wasn't particularly interesting it just worked and didn't work the only thing that was interesting is that when you lost the screen and the audio the game was still actually working because when you put it back on it was still there but only from about six uh, the low six volts upwards so that was kind of nice so if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up i've already done the nintendo switch i've done the uh what was it what else have i done the spectrum and uh yeah i'm going to be doing other consoles as well like the atari jaguar and loads of different other consoles just out of curiosity to see what happens when you run them from batteries and also when you start to lower down the voltage if you enjoyed the video give it a massive thumbs up and i'll see you all very soon thank you so much for watching